20 minutes ago, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp addressed the public and said he's working hard to protect Georgians. He still wants those with underlying conditions to shelter in place until May 13th. I'd like to ask all Georgians to help us double down on protecting our fellow vulnerable citizens. As you know, this disease has a wicked effect on these individuals, and we got to continue to raise awareness and take care of those folks and continue to combat the issues that we're seeing in our long-term care facilities. Georgia's movie theaters can welcome customers and limited in, restru in restaurant dining is now allowed. And this all comes after other businesses, including barbershops, gyms, tattoo shops, and nail salons were allowed to start seeing customers on Friday. Coming this Thursday, the stay-at-home order expires for the Peach State. But some businesses are holding off on opening. News 4 Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live from St. Simons at the Pier Village. Marilyn, what are you seeing there? Well, we watched one restaurant start seating a large number of guests as soon as they opened this morning, while another restaurant tells me they're going to continue doing the curbside services for now. Either way, we saw a lot of people out here in St. Simons Pier Village today, most of them telling me they're ready to get back to normal. Some of them even had trouble finding parking. After taking a stroll down St. Simon's Pier Village, you can now take a seat at some of its restaurants. I'm just so glad it's their livelihood. All restaurants in Georgia can now reopen with certain limitations. Uh, <laughs> other states should do the same. Can't expect people just not to make money. People need their jobs. The owner of Iguana Seafood says Monday was everything he hoped it would be as they reopened today. Guests are seated one table apart and the staff is wearing masks. Though it's the new normal for businesses like his, Jester Butler says he's just happy to be in business at all. I think this is the greatest day in the world. Uh, you know, I want to be here. I want to be open. That's what that's what I do for a living. Um, and when you're forced to close for any reason, it's detrimental. Um, and devastating. He says he was forced to let go of his employees and transition to curbside takeout, which he says was surprisingly successful. Now that doors have reopened, traffic on the island has picked up and working in his favor. You could have got a, any parking spot in this entire Pier Village as of two days ago. They were empty and now they're full. People know the restaurants are open and they're coming. Oh my God, it's the greatest thing. Never thought I'd ever say I really wanted to work, but I'm excited to be back working. Butler says his business is taking the restrictions seriously, and while he hopes the virus doesn't spread anymore, he says he's just happy to be back open. We're live at St. Simons Pier Village, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station.